Hi guys! Today I'm going to do a video that isn't planned at all and it is a reply to a video by Megan Hart's makeup and her video is basically about a lot of things um, about herself that kind of people don't really expect and I definitely um, give her kudos for making this video because She's still really, really young. She's only 15 compared to me. I'm like 23. You might not think that because a lot of people who haven't followed me from the beginning don't know that I'm 23 for some reason. They think I'm 18 or like, I don't know, however old. Hopefully no one thinks I'm 30. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not. <laughs> but anyway, so her video is just really inspirational to me. I mean, it makes me kind of really appreciate her being on YouTube and like as a person and her point of view is just wow like for someone who is 15 to have these like conclusions and like everything is just awesome. I don't think I could have been that open-minded um, when I was 15. But yeah so the first thing she talked about was her life being perfect and how like people have this like misconception of it and I think that being on YouTube, people kind of forget that you're a person. Like, they don't realize that you're a living human being with emotions. Like, because you're just, you know, you look perfect on camera or in pictures or whatever, they don't see, like, the flaws that you have as a person. Because they don't, they don't know you at all. Like, they basically just see this whoever you want to put out, like, on camera is what they see, you know? So... That's a really important point to point out. I am not perfect, and a lot of people kind of expect this like role model-esque quality from me for some reason. I don't know why, because yeah, no, I don't have role model qualities. I mean, I have good pointers for like certain things like hair and makeup or like, I don't know, little life facts, but honestly, <laughs> I am far from a role model. My hair is just really crimpy right now because I braided it and it looks weird. Anyways, it's bothering me. That's why I'm, yeah. <laughs> I really see where she's like going and it's so sad because she's tearing up about it and how like people just think that, you know, she has this money from her parents and like just kind of intertwining the two. And I don't know, like I really don't know much about that because growing up, I honestly like didn't have a lot at all. I mean, like I didn't live like in their projects or anything, you know, but um, my parents were immigrants, obviously. Um, I'm actually like kind of like the first generation here, and we obviously didn't have a lot. I mean, I'm, I remember growing up in a one bedroom apartment um, with my parents and my grandparents, my aunts, my uncle. I mean, obviously, it wasn't like a mansion or anything, and we'd always go to like the Goodwill store or like. I don't know, like thrift stores to buy her stuff. I remember like my mom would tell me the story about how when I was younger she would like push me around in a stroller with a broken wheel because we didn't have money to like afford a regular stroller. Um, but yeah, so I mean I know where she's coming from but she can't really relate too much about that. And yeah, like being on YouTube, I think people kind of expect you to be so perfect and have everything handed to you and that's so not true like just because I'm on YouTube like doesn't mean I have any uh, more special privileges than everyone else in the working world I mean I have bills to pay I have like mouth to feed well a mouth because I you know I feed Holden <laughs> I don't know if that really counts but um yeah like please don't believe that my life is any more better than yours or like I don't know I guess it's just kind of well in a way I'm kind of setting myself up because I'm making these videos are very like materialistic and very like superficial in a way but just because I'm doing that please don't think that like my life is centered around that or I'm better than everyone else because I'm just like this role model or whatever people see me as and another thing that Megan brings up is the fact that like you get really paranoid and skeptical about people and their intentions. I'm a paranoid person to begin with. I'm really, really paranoid. Like 
if I'm walking in a dark alley, I'm paranoid about something, someone like follow me or something. I'm just a really paranoid person to start out with. But after making my bully video, I did say that if you do have a problem, if you want to talk to anyone, like, please, um, you know, just email me or whatever and like tell me about your problem and I'll try to help you. And actually, you know what? I actually do like, I actually do kind of like just not hesitating to do it and now that I watch her video it kind of makes me paranoid because like I do like the people because like yesterday I went online and answered a bunch of emails and I did um say like a lot of personal things about me like to people that I don't know but have these issues and I feel like if people are gonna have like hate websites or whatever about me like my intention in replying to those emails were like for the best like my, I had good intentions when I replied to these emails like I can relate to them because I have experienced them myself and it's just a lot of um, well the emails are like kids who are a lot younger you know like in high school or whatever in eighth grade and I feel like I've been through that um, I can relate to that and I don't know I feel like I'm good pretty I can give pretty good advice to that but if people are going to use that stuff, like, on websites just to, like, get back at me and, like, just put this bad image about me out there, like, shame on you because my intention was to help you and I had good intentions and, you know, trying to, I don't know, like, help you solve your problem or whatever. So I kind of, I don't know, like, with that aspect, part of me, like, I'm more, I think I'm more paranoid with people who I know in real life trying to use me because um, they know me on a more personal level, you know, and they can contact me or reach me um, by calling me or texting me or aiming me or whatever, Facebooking me. Um, but I think, I don't know, like with uh, emailing and like giving advice, I feel like if I start out with good intentions and you're gonna like twist my words and use that against me, like just shame on you. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. She talks about one more thing that really got to me because this has happened been happening to me a lot lately and that's why I made like the bullying video and you know just trying to open up and just talk more about it and it's about the negative comments and I loved the way she talked about it. So she was talking about how when she goes online um, and see these negative comments you know people just saying nasty mean things to her that she's more likely to just see those comments and the positive ones and I more than understand what she's talking about because I'm the exact same way I don't know why like I don't know if it's just like human nature to see the bad in things because um I don't know it's like the news if you watch the news they're not going to talk about like great happy go lucky things all the time you know like they talk about all these tragedies and murders and just like unfortunate events and it seems like I notice like these negative things in comments because of that like thing that we have like everyone has where like we're kind of cynical about things like I don't know like I don't really see myself as an optimist most of the time um, I don't know why I mean maybe I should change like my views and like try to see it that way but I really don't and she was talking about how like how she tries to ignore them and like tries to question these people just kind of wording her questions asking them like why do they hate her because they don't know her kind of thing and man like I think that's a great way to like kind of deal with these hate comments because honestly these people don't know you um they don't know you at all I mean they see what they want to see um I remember growing up in high school there was this girl um, that really hated me, like really just hated my guts. And I honestly didn't understand why. I never un understood why. And to this day, I really, I even had like a nightmare about it recently, about her um, being mean to me. And I think I did something about it in the dream because I didn't do it in real life um, when I had the opportunity to. But yeah, she just hated my guts. Um, she just talked all this trash about me and I never understood why because I think she was in, I'm pretty sure she was like in my grade school and then we went to high school together and like for some reason she just hated my guts. I never talked to her before 
Um, I knew her sisters, and that's probably it. Like, I knew nothing about her. She knew nothing about me, but for some reason, she just hated my guts. Like, I wonder, I remember one time in high school, we were going to some kind of assembly or pep rally in the at the gym, and I was walking with one of my guy friends, and she was in back of us, and for some reason, she just yelled, slut, at me. And after she said that, it really, really hurt it because she didn't even know me. How can you even say that to someone? I can't picture saying that to anyone that I don't know. Or even like if I do know them and if they are one, I wouldn't even want to say it. I mean, it's just a terrible thing to say. I really never understood why she hated me so much, but... Oh, she's burp. <laughs> and I do appreciate like some criticism, like if there's something wrong with the lighting or like if my grammar's wrong or something like I really don't mind if someone just like says something but when it's just intentionally wanting to hurt you like this hatred that they have for you it's just like why what did I do to you like I didn't do anything to you you don't know me you've never talked to me in real life you don't know me as a person um I just, so I just don't understand why people can hate anyone else when they don't even interact with them but I guess it's just one of those things where you know some people just hate people for no reason and you can't really do anything about it and at my part of like responding to these people because I do have a temper like I am not the type of nice girl that would sit there and be like oh my I'm so scared now I'm not gonna do anything like I'm gonna say something back because in real life, if someone comes just slaps you in the face, you're not going to stand there and be like, what the hell, and just walk away. Like, if it was me, I would seriously be like, what the what the heck is your problem? Like, what the heck is your problem, lady? Just, um, really can relate to her video and, like, just where she's coming from and just what she's trying to get at because I understand that I'm in that position and just to be able to, like, understand this and like put this all into words at such a young age it's just like wow um it just gives me like a more like confounded respect for her and another thing with the whole like people hating me um when they don't know me and all that stuff like she also mentioned like about youtube and how the girls at her school were making fun of her and stuff and i can totally relate to that even though i'm in college right now and i'm not like in like the kind of situation for where girls can be really really catty because I mean I don't know I just feel like in college we're all adults like I don't f there doesn't seem to be like much of a cattiness compared to like grade school or middle school or, or high school but I still see that it's just really sad because like girls who used to go to high school with me who aren't very fond of me actually watch my videos and make fun of them and just like say all this trash about them and I think it's just so sad because at your age, um, you should just know better. I mean, you're an adult. We're not in high school anymore. We're not in that kind of environment where um, you just can sit around and talk trash about people. Like we all have better things to do. Like we all have a higher education to reach, but maybe not because I don't know what they're doing now. But um, yeah, like Megan, if you're watching this, like I'm sorry that. It's it happened to you. I mean, I didn't start making videos um, until I was out of high school probably. So I can't really relate to it much, but it must be really hard because I can't just, um, like, it's one thing to have criticism um, online, but it's another thing to have, like, this kind of criticism in real life. It's just really, like, it's just all this pressure on you, you know? And like you know that people are watching you and they know you in real life and go to school with you and like judge you and everything but in a way like YouTube has opened up so many opportunities and like so many positive things has happened to me where if people who know me in real life and hate me or whatever from high school um, even if they talk smack like I don't know I just don't really care so it's just awesome like YouTube is awesome and I think that at the end of the day even though I'm talking about all these haters and all this negativity like the person the people that I have to be most grateful for are